I'm Cody, I'm the Yellow House captain for 2020 at Oranda. And I'm Georgia, I'm one of the school captains for 2020 and we're going to be going through a school tour of Oranda. Uh, so this is our STEM space and one of the features which is the Hive which is one of our breakout spaces. So this is one of our lab spaces where a lot of the bigger and typical science classes would be held to be practical. Hey guys, what are we working on? Um, we're working on reaction time as a group for uh, ICS. And ICS is our uh, year 10 and 9 program which is inquiry centred studies which covers our maths and science curriculum for those years. So this is our maker space where we have laser cutting and 3D printing and things like that the kids use in ICS. Um, and through here, so this is a really dynamic workspace. It changes all the time depending on your lesson you have here or just like if there's an event going on during the day. Um, we have booths that allow for group work or you can work individually. It's just really, it is so easy to change around and it allows for so many different lessons to work in here. atrium space. This space has been made purely just for our senior school, so year 11s and 12s. It's a really flexible learning area where um, in year 11 and 12 you get study lessons. So this is where we work to get, we have some extra time to do some extra learning, catch up on any work you miss throughout the week, or just really, it's really just about getting the area. It really promotes a really productive and collaborative learning area where you can either work independently or collaboratively wow. depending on the lesson you are choosing to work on. Yeah, sure. What are we working on here today? Um, some English work. Just making sure that everything's ready for the next lesson. Uh, so this is our shed space. So this is where mainly you're, you'll see the specialist sports course classes using this. Um, inside there's a huge range of workout machines and there's like a rowing machine and there's a place for you to do weights and stuff. But so we're one of two schools with a specialist sports program and it's focused on improving your personal health and your knowledge around your chosen sports and nutrition based as well. So this is our gym space and we use it for our PE and our direct lessons. We have a rock climbing wall that we also use for those. Our gym is also used to um, help host lunch and recess activities.
this area is our food and technologies area. Um, a lot of the like courts and things around here are going to be part of our new build. The new build is to cater for the new year sevens we have coming in and just to make some more room for our growing school community. Um, so this is one of two kitchens that we have provided for the home ec classes. This is our junior space where that'll be their year sevens to year nines, nines yeah. that um, they use this space for any of their cooking or practical side of their home ec class. <laughs> So this is our, um, our art space that we have, this is an area used, so we have photography classes in here, we have our art classes, we also have a lot of Wednesday lunchtime clubs that are run in here for drawing and things like that, as well as competitions amongst our photography and art club. So this is our uh, technology space where we have woodwork, metalwork and plastics work and we have a lot of different machinery and tools to use to help students create their uh, products. So this is our learning hub, this is another one of our really dynamic learning spaces that it allows for multiple classes to be in here at the, at the same time but then also within your classes you can break off into separate groups or do individual work. Um, it's a really flexible area and it's a really just it's a nice area to be. There are a number of things that make Rianda Secondary School unique, like our Year 7 and 8 PBL program. We have the, like, as you saw today, how many flexible learning spaces we have and how just like um, diverse our areas are. Um, and also to be one of the first schools to do a Year 7 pilot program. You also get a lot of opportunities like our VET courses. Uh, our school offers outdoor ed as well as a subject which involves you get to do, you get to go on camps, you get to do aquatics and there's a lot of life skills you learn through that program. So please stay up to date on our um, social media via Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and there will be some more information about student led tours or how you can find a way to come and get an insight to where you we're really proud to be a part of the Wurianda Secondary School community and we hope to see you a part of it in, a, in the future.